She's a pretty brown thing Got them curls that came And everybody knows When they see me It's take glow She's got beauty and brain A girl that shines through rain She's take glow What's up take glow gang? Today I'm going to be showing y'all a really cute Protective hairstyle um, I know for me personally, usually cornrows on me, I look kind of like a tomboy, especially if my eyebrows not done and all that. So I like to add a little something, something. It's not much, but for me, it makes such huge difference, making me not look completely bald, like I'm not a boy or something. So I really like this hairstyle and it's protective. Gives you something for about three, four days, depending on how you take care of it. And me, I can do like a week and a half because <laughs> I'm lazy too. Make some bobby pins scrunchies ponytail holders a comb big comb and some gel so i'm gonna start off by combing my hair out making sure my hair is combed you know detangled before doing anything next i'm gonna take my hair and part it down the middle i really don't care about my parts it doesn't make that much of a difference by the way y'all when i say the part doesn't matter i mean in the back make sure in the front you got them parts on sleek because that's what people are mainly going to see and what they're going to pay attention to and this is what makes your hairstyle look cute because if your parts in the front look a fool then you might look a fool you know what i'm saying but then i just put that section uh the half of my hair in a ponytail so i can work on one side first and this is just me pulling out my curly piece because this is what makes the whole hairstyle girly and then I just take from the arch of my eyebrow, and that's where I begin my part at a slanted angle. Since the side of your head is slanted a little bit compared to it doesn't go straight back, you have to curve your part to frame the shape of your head. But that's pretty much just what I'm doing right now. Make sure you curve that part. So right now you can see me taking that little section and putting it in a bun this is because i start with my side braids that's the easiest way to do it and yes i start with the side braids on both sides but of course detangle that section before you braid it even though you detangled it before this is just to make sure you're not braiding your hair knotted and then i just section off that little corner curly piece that i'm gonna have so that that's out the weight of my braid and then i use gel and i make sure i sleek this down y'all wet line best gel i've ever used and i'm just now starting to use it so once i get that sleek down i want to have it kind of to the side on all of my braids i have them to the side but make sure you sleek it to where it's on the edge of the part don't have it in the middle like you know how braids usually go in the middle you want them in the middle here i want them on the side so it has a sleek effect and y'all know get the edge of my control toothbrush <laughs> and sleek them edges and i do this at a swerved sideways angle but here is me repeating that same process on the other side. Instead of doing the braid next to the other one, I do the other side. And this is me measuring, making sure I have an even part. And I measure with my brows just to make sure it's in the same spot. But like I said, I start with the two sides because it's easiest for me to keep my hair out the way that way rather than doing the next braid. Taking my parts, I use a big comb first just to have a general area of the part. And then I go in with that fine tooth comb to neaten that part up. And y'all, in a second, I'm going to show you how the part looks, how thick it is. And y'all, I do that so I can make sure that that hair is thick enough because it's easy to make this part really small. And then you have two big middle sections instead of even braids. But yeah, kneading that part up, make it look good and neat and sissy. <laughs> so 
So I haven't mentioned that the key here is to braid a little bit further back. You're not starting directly at your edges. You want to start further back. This is so you can have that sleek look just as well as braiding closer to your ear on each braid that you do rather than in the middle. And this is what creates that sleek look. So you just want to braid and braid and braid. And I can't teach y'all how to braid because I barely know how to braid myself. Okay, so for these middle sections, I'm going to start with when you're sleeking it down, as you can see, I start to sleek it back because I have the habit of sleeking it back. But later you'll see me end up going down and doing it towards the side because like I said, these braids are going to be going towards the side of my head rather than going in the middle or backwards. Okay, so you can see the way I'm holding my hands. I'm not holding them in the regular way that you're, you will braid. I'm holding them kind of towards the side as if I was regularly doing a three strand twist, but I'm doing it to the scalp, but I'm holding my hands as if I was doing a three strand twist rather than someone who's just braiding to the scalp. And this is so that I can be braiding that uh, braid closest to the edge. And then of course, repeating the process, yada, 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 same old, same old, <laughs> but putting the gel on that other middle section, smoothing it down, getting it all sleek, because you know we be sleek and on fleek. This hairstyle, my goal is not to have tight braids, it's to have them a little bit looser so that they're fluffier and not flat on my head. Because another reason I feel like cornrows make you look kind of boyish is because they're flat, can't tell you have hair. But if I make them loose, they're puffy, you can see them and you can tell I got hair. But as you can see, I'm taking this fine tooth comb, you know the little classic yellow comb that us black girls be using, and fixing them edges, y'all. If you don't know, a comb will get them edges laid, hunty. And it also gives you more precision with where you're trying to go. So I'm just trying to show y'all, when I tie my hair up, I don't even up the do-rag. I leave a smaller piece, and this is so that it covers my entire hair. You know how usually it would stop halfway? I do it so that it covers all of my hair that's touching my scalp. And I use two bonnets, y'all, because I want to make sure nothing come out. You know how your bonnet be sliding off when you sleep and you wake up looking a fool? Yeah, we can't have that, especially when you just sleeped and sleeped yourself. Mm-mm. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I'm finna show y'all the final result and everything you can do with this hairstyle. If y'all are wondering, this lip gloss is from my line. It's a mixture of a light nude color and my darkest nude color. And y'all, perfectly matches my skin. But, ooh, y'all see that? That means that it is laid, hunty. Laid. Okay, I should have been using wet line. So, of course, you can just leave it like this. Let your braids flow. I personally do not want to leave my hair out like this. So, you can either get some bobby pins, some ponytail holders, and put it in two buns and have them on the side like this. Or, you can just make one little back bun and like that. And you can also take down the braids once you put them in the ponytail and have some big juicy buns. But, you know, you're taking the protection out because then your ends can protect it. But, you know, it'll be cute. But, yeah, that's just me showing you the two buns. And here, this is the one bun. This is so cute. This was my favorite. I usually don't like buns to where you can't see my hair. But, yeah, this was so cute. It's really professional, business professional. 
Okay, y'all, that's all for today. Thank y'all for watching. If you made it to the end, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. And tell some friends to subscribe. Share me out, you know. Tell your friends and tell them to tell their friends because they missing out. Because it's about to get litty over here. But peace out, Tag Glow Gang. Thank you.